Okay, in this video we're just going to do some more derivatives uh, involving the power rule. So, um, in part A here we've got p of q equals negative 3 over pi times the square root of q to the 4.1 power. And all I'm going to do in part A is I'm just going to rewrite this first. Um, I'm going to rewrite it. And again, anytime I see a square root or a radical in there, the first thing I always do is just try to rewrite this uh, with no radical, just as a power. So we can write this as p of q equals negative 3 over pi. And don't be thrown off by the negative 3 over pi. That's just a constant. So uh, nothing's really going to happen to it when we take the derivative. We can just kind of uh, take the derivative of the stuff involving the variable and then multiply that at the end. So we've got q raised to the 4.1. Recall a square root is equivalent to raising something to the 1 half power. Well, again, I'm just going to keep simplifying this. So we have negative 3 over pi. Recall if things are in parentheses, we just multiply the exponents. So we would have q uh, to the 4.1 times 1 half, or equivalently 4.1 over 2. So that's negative 3 over pi. And then if we simplify, we would have, well, 4.1 divided by 2 is going to be 2.05. And now I'm kind of in a, a, a good place where I, I think, well, now I'm finally going to take the derivative. So p prime of q, uh, the negative 3 over pi just kind of gets carried along. And we'll just do the same thing as before. We've got a variable to a, a number. Okay, so that, that number, that exponent just comes up front um, times our variable q. And then we do the same thing as before. We just take 1 away from this number. So if we subtract 1 from 2.05, we'll just get 1.05. And if you wanted to, I mean, you could always multiply. You could think about this as being over 1. I guess we could take negative 3 times 2.05. We could make that negative 6.15. The q raised to the 1.05 would also go in the numerator. And then we would have our pi in the denominator. So if you wanted to kind of write it all back together, it certainly would be OK to, to write it like this. But um, that's all there is to it. So uh, again, you'll see derivative problems all the time that involve square roots, cube roots, fourth roots, other types of roots. Um, always first thing I do is just immediately rewrite those um, as exponents. And if I can, I simplify it before I start taking the derivative.